everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going fantastic. I'm so glad you're joining me. Well, I have a sweet project to share with you today. We're using a few items that are brand new over at Simon Says Stamp, and my project today is actually part of a blog hop going on right now. Um, Simon Says Stamp is having a two day long blog hop. Today is day one. If you want to head on over to my blog, I'll leave a link down below, but um, if you want to head on over to Simon's blog first. Always, uh, blog hops are always nice to start at the beginning because you don't miss out on any inspiration or any details about it. There's a giveaway to go with it. But there's lots of and lots of inspiration with the Be Bold release. Today my project is going to be featuring a few new items from that same release. We have the Hey Sweetie 6x8 stamp set. Oh my goodness, I'm going to keep it flat because of my glare. But isn't this so sweet? I love the cupcake we're going to create with that today. We're going to make a strawberry cupcake for my background. A new stencil set called Tiled Art. This is a four piece stencil set and I had a chance to play with it before I created my card today and I love it. And I think you're going to love it too. So let's jump in and get started. I'm going to stamp. We're going to make a strawberry cupcake like I mentioned. So I'm going to bring in some white cardstock and my stamping positioner. I have the cupcake, a couple strawberries, and I'm going to stamp them a few more times. I'm using my Memento ink to ink up my strawberries and my cupcake. And I also put the greeting in here that says, thank you for being so sweet. And I put the greeting on the bottom. That way I can create an arch with it. Okay, I'm going to bring in an acrylic block and I'm going to stamp my strawberries just a couple more times here. So those are our images. Now I'm pretty sure that Simon will have the um, coordinating die set, but I don't have that one so I'm going to do a little bit of fussy cutting. But I'm going to go ahead and color in my strawberries and then I will fussy cut them out. And today, for today's video, I'm going to skip the coloring, but I will list all the colors that I used over on my blog post if you're interested in knowing the colors that I use for today's card. So I have my cupcake and I also have my strawberries and then I did um, trim the bottom off of my greeting, kind of straightened it out because I did stamp it a little crooked and then I domed the top, just freehanded it with my scissors. So those are our sweet elements. We're going to put these to the side and now we're going to do some stenciling. Okay, I'm going to stencil on a panel that is four and a quarter by five and a half inches and I'm using my grit mat. Let's get these over. I want a neutral background for my card. I want my cupcake to stand out. So I'm bringing in my gray inks. I have four gray inks and these are all from Pink Fresh Studio. I have Licorice, I have Metropolis, I have Rocky Slope, and I have Misty Coast. Okay, I'm starting with my lightest ink and my lightest ink, I'm going to be using my stencil one um, that has the, the most surface area to stencil. Now my grit mat is six by six. So rather than trying to line it up on my background panel from corner to corner, you could do that. I'm just going to go corner to corner on my grit mat. Um, to me, this is just easier and I have more area where I can grip it on the left and right. Okay, I'm going to bring in my blending brush here and I have some darker ink on here. So I'm going to use a towel and I'm going to wipe off that darker ink. Okay. And I'm using the same blending brush for all of my ink colors. Starting with my lightest gray, Misty Coast, I'm just going to lightly go over this. 
and it doesn't look like I'm doing much but with the white and the gray once you remove the stencil you can see the difference definitely okay so that is layer one I'm going to remove my stencil layer one now I'm going to bring in stencil two and my next ink which is rocky slope line it up here in the corner I got a little heavy handed here but I'm going to be trimming so maybe I can get away with that so that is layer two I like to wipe my stencils off while it's on the grip mat it's just easier for me okay look how pretty that is so far stencil three and then my metropolis ink and I'm gonna add this color actually that that blotch probably didn't make any difference because I'm covering it up with a darker ink and that is that one let's wipe off the stencil and take a look so pretty and then I'll take my final stencil make sure it's the right way I'm gonna layer it right over the top and that is my last color I'll go ahead and close these wipe it off and let's take a look isn't that so fun let me show you I just think that's just the neatest thing so neat okay for my background I'm going to be using some red cardstock and I'm also going to bring in a die set from Simon called the A2 Marquee these give me um, dotted detail around my background I'm going to run this through my die cut machine and um Spellbinder actually has a die set that does almost the same thing um, but the dots are a little bit smaller but I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to the front of my card base just using my tape runner so use a little bit of a white border about an eighth of an inch I would say on my card base kind of framing it and I love frames on my cards okay and then I'm going to use my paper trimmer and using this center as a guide I'm going to trim this down so it will fit on the inside of this I'm a little off center but I think I can get away with it okay I'm going to go ahead and take the arch that I put my greeting on I'm going to put it at the very bottom using my tape runner and we'll center this and then I have a little overhanging I'll use my scissors and we'll trim away I'm going to add this to my card front and we're going to add our cupcake I'm going to pop up my cupcake with some foam tape and I'm going to place this right in the center here and then using some small foam squares we're going to add our strawberry we're going to add a few When I colored in my strawberries, I actually went over the strawberry dots. Let me show you over here. So I'm going to take my white gel pen and I'm going to add some white detail over my strawberries. Okay, kind of brings them to life. 
And lastly, I'm going to bring in my Color Essential Gems. These are red. And I think I'm going to add some, um, some gems to my frosting. That's some red sprinkles. And that will finish off my card for today. And I had actually created another card. Um, let me give you a sneak peek of it. I have close-up pictures over on my blog if you want to check this out. Um, blueberry milkshakes are always nice. <laughs> kind of a healthier alternative if you're going to use ice cream, I suppose. Maybe not, but <laughs> I'd like to trick my brain into thinking that. But that's my card today. Thanks for joining me. I hope you get a chance to join us for the Simon Says Stamp Be Bold Blog Hop and Giveaway. I'll leave the links down below. Have a lovely day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.